Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek, also known as the ATL Flipper, and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay. All right, I'm about to take you guys with me today to some thrift stores to see what we can find, all right? So it's uh, around 8.15 in the morning. All right, the, uh, Goodwill, they open up around 9 a.m., so we can go ahead and head out. All right, but before we do, because my wife and my children, they're still asleep. Before we do, all right, I want you to go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, all right? All right, let's go. All right, guys, just walked into the Goodwill, and the first section I went to was the women's section. A few days ago, I just um, just found a Tory Burch and Burberry trench coat, so I just went ahead and, and went through this section, but I didn't find anything of uh, that was designer or anything that sells for a lot of money. So um, I just went ahead and went to the miscellaneous section, and I uh, went to the shoes, and I picked up a few things. So let me show you guys all that I picked up, all right? All right, guys, the first item I picked up was a green Game Boy Color. They only wanted $1.99 for it. Um, it didn't have batteries in it, but you know, I'll take a risk um, for $2. And it also came with the Tarzan game. So for $2, you can't beat that, so I had to pick it up. All right, the next thing was a dog's car seat hammock for $2.99. Um, the comps were really, really good, so you know I had to pick it up. And it was brand new in the box, never open. So I went ahead and just put that in the cart. Get ready to take it home. All right, the next item I found, guys, was an Extreme Mac. Um, this is where you can plug up your iPhone to and charge it, play music through it. But I didn't pick it up because they wanted uh, too much for it. And then the comps on eBay, it wasn't going for anything. So I went ahead and left it behind. All right, the next thing I picked up was a pair of Golden Women Ugg boots. They were really clean. Um, the bottoms, you know, was worn a little bit, but still in great shape. They only wanted $7 for them. So you guys already know, I had to pick them up. If you guys ever see Ugg boots in the thrift store, look up the comps because right now, Ugg boots are selling very fast. All right, the next item I picked up was a, a Tony Lama um, pair of, of cowboy boots, a men's size 11 and a half, super clean. No rips, no tears, no stains. Um, they're in really good condition. So for $7, I went ahead and uh, picked these guys up. The bottoms were actually in good condition too. So um, make sure when you look at boots, you check the bottom of them. Make sure the bottoms aren't ripped or torn. And um, if they're good, pick them up. All right, next up, I found a, um, a women's softball Wilson glove. Uh, it was in good condition. Um, the glove was only $3, but I went ahead and left it because I already have a lot of uh, inventory and it was only selling for around $17 on eBay. All right, the next item I picked up picked up was a rough wear um, harness, a dog harness. I found it in the miscellaneous section. Uh, make sure when you go to the thrift stores, you always check the miscellaneous section because um, sometimes they have a lot of things that are worth a lot of money. So they only wanted $2 for it and I went ahead and picked it up. Next was this uh, Villa Wear Rose Waffle Maker. It had like a rose mold in it. And if you see these waffle makers, they go for a lot of money, especially the ones with designs on the inside of them. So for $7, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get it. Make sure you plug it up too to make sure that it, it cuts on, that it heats up, so you won't be buying a dead um, waffle maker. All right, the next item I picked up was a pair of uh, size six, uh, toddler size Tim's. Black Tims in really good condition. Matter of fact, these were brand new. Still had the tag on it. So when I saw the tag, I said, wow, they only want $6 for it. So you know I had to pick them up too. All right, y'all. When I saw these pairs of boots on the shelf, I definitely had to pick them up. I looked at the tongue and saw that they were Dana boots. Guys, these boots go for so much money. They go for a lot of money. So you know that they're Dana boots and they're worth a lot because on the bottom, You'll see they have a Vibram. It says Vibram on the bottom of the shoes. And it had dinner on the back of the shoes. And just the overall quality of these boots just feels so good. And only one is $7 for them. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, check out and let's head to our next Goodwill. All 
All right, guys, I'm in the next Goodwill. And the first pair I picked up was some patent leather Jordan OG ones. You can see the condition is pretty good. All they need is a little wipe me down, but they're in pretty good condition. So I went ahead and picked them up for six dollars. All right. Then I saw these pair of Converse collab shoes. Guys, these shoes are going for a lot of money. All they wanted was nine dollars. That's all they wanted, nine dollars. So you guys, you know, they're definitely coming home with me. I'm going to have to repaint them a little bit because the white on the side is kind of uh, messed up. But that should be no problem. All right, next up was a pair of Jordan 1 Chicago size 8 and toddlers. They were only $13. But they resell for a really good amount, guys. So whenever you see Jordan 1s, pick them up, especially in this colorway. Uh, I'm going to show you all at the end of the video um, how much these guys are uh, selling for, how much they're reselling for on eBay. So just continue to watch at the end of the to the end of the video. All right, then I grabbed these all black Air Force Ones. They were in decent condition, and actually Air Force Ones sell very very good for me. And they only wanted twelve dollars for them, as you guys can see. Pretty good condition, so I went ahead and grabbed them. There was no tears on them, no rips, so I just put them in the cart. I then saw these Nike Air Max ninety sevens. They're missing insoles, but no worries. I have an extra pair of insoles I can go ahead and slide in them. But the overall condition of the shoes were really good. They also resell for a ton of money. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how much that these shoes are going for on eBay. And I think y'all will really, really be surprised. I know it amazed me when I looked them up. Have some, uh, They have some linen in them, so I'm going to clean the linen out. But they are actually in really good condition. Then I saw these Jordan 6 ring shoes, size 12. I was going to pick them up, but then as I was checking them, looked at the bottoms of them, bottoms were okay. But then I looked at the toe box, guys, and look, not just on one shoe, but on both shoes. Like, what were they doing in these shoes? So I had to leave those behind. The next item I picked up was a pair of all-white, crispy Air Force Ones. They were actually in, uh, in good condition. Bottom's a little dirty. I'm not going to worry about that too much. But they wanted... $13 for them and I probably can resell them for around $50 to $60 all right next up I found this Bearberry shirt and I saw it was actually on the end of of the uh the men's uh, shirts so I picked it up looked at the bottom of it looked at the stitching looked at everything it's authentic but then I checked the arm the sleeves guys and it had a hole in the sleeve so I couldn't get it. I went ahead and just, just left it behind. Then I found these Air Jordan 1s, teal colorway. It was like a translucent. They were actually very, very nice. Um, I believe the size was 13 and they only wanted $18 for them. So I went ahead and picked those guys up. While I was in the miscellaneous section, I then saw this uh, Kat Von D eyeliner. I've never heard of this brand before, um, but it just looked, the box looked very interesting. So I went ahead and looked it up and they only wanted 99 cents for it, but it was going for a good penny. So I went ahead and picked it up. All right. The last item guys that I found was a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. Guys, these shoes were sitting at the bottom of the of the shoe rack so when i looked i they just looked like regular boots but then i saw the leather on them and i pulled them out looked at the bottom looked them up made sure everything was legit and guys these shoes are legit so i'm gonna show you all at the end of the video how much these shoes are going for all right and goodwill was only selling them for seven dollars they only wanted seven dollars for them so i had to pick them up all right let's go and head back to the house Hey guys, what's up? I just pulled back up to the house and uh, man, today was a good day. Today was a good day. All right guys, so we found some really good things. Uh, thank you guys for uh, for coming with me today. And my wife, she actually texted me uh, on the way home and she was like, babe, the food is ready. So uh, I'm about to go inside and get something to eat. All right, but what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put all the items that I found, I'm gonna put uh, what they're 
um, sell it for on eBay at the end of the video. All right, so go ahead and uh, finish watching the video and hope uh, hope that this um, this uh, this thrift uh, day, you know, really helped you guys to see some of the items to look for when you guys go out to the uh, thrift store. All right, so until the next time, to the next video, I'm gonna see you guys later. All right, peace.